Hi, and uh, welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning. It's a great day for a revolution. Uh, it's already begun. Uh, yesterday at the Rules Committee, what we saw was Hillary uh, apparently miscalculated. She got a room too small for all the Rules Committee members. And all the Bernie delegates were left outside of the Rules Committee room. And you know what? They found that unacceptable. And they began protesting, yelling and chanting, and I don't blame them one little bit. They traveled all the way to Philly to see that freedom and democracy reign again in this country. And instead of getting that done, they were barred from the Rules Committee. And even when the person in charge of the Rules Committee came around the corner and the protesters yelled his name, that man tucked tail and ran all around the corner as fast as his, uh, you know, chubby little butt would carry him. So, the people have already begun yelling, have already begun fighting for our rights. And they kept it classy, though. I give them a lot of credit. Uh, they had every right to be angry and being barred from making the rules on probably the most important meeting of this entire event. So today at the convention, people are going to be going crazy. We've got proof now that Hillary and the DNC and Debbie Washington Schultz colluded in going against uh, Bernie Sanders, the hero of the people. We cannot allow that to happen. Uh, it goes against everything that our country stands for. It goes against everything that we want in this country. The DNC has failed us. The DNC has failed the American people. It was supposed to be the progressive party. Well, Hillary and the big banks, well, they've put their money into it and they have corrupted it through and through. And it's just not gonna work for us anymore. I know many people have said that they're gonna stay with the DNC through the convention and see what happens. Completely respect that. That's okay. I myself have already left the Green Party when I am running in Massachusetts for the 2018 U.S. Senate seat uh, in Congress. And I'm a proud Green Party member now, and I feel better knowing that I'm no longer part of the corruption of D.C. Let me tell you. We're going to make real changes. We're going to see that this kind of corruption isn't tolerated in the United States anymore. So I want to say to the protesters in Philly, be loud, be proud, and fight like you've never fought before for Bernie Sanders. Let them know what is going on inside. Let those superdelegates know that it will not be tolerated. The lies, the cheating, and corruption that comes with Hillary Clinton. It's unacceptable, and we have proof. Later today, uh, there's promises of more leaks and more emails to come out. I can't wait to get that, and if you get those emails, Read them, share them, and let's find out what dirty tricks that Hillary's been up to today. We gotta let the people know, and we have to t let the superdelegates know that she is unacceptable. We will not face World War III by Hillary Clinton's side. We're gonna move on to bigger and better things like Bernie Sanders, Jill Stein. We're gonna deal with climate change, and we're gonna fix this planet, and we're gonna put an end to the wars. It's enough fighting for oil, enough fighting for the oligarchy to put money in their pockets while our young men and women fight and die. It's unacceptable to me, and it should be unacceptable to you. So go get them in Philly. I'm very proud of you. I wish I could be there with you. Go get them, people. And this is Josh Ford, once again running for the U.S. Senate and Congress in the 2018 Massachusetts election. Thank you for your support.